Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to get on a roll. I'm going to get on a roll. I'm going to get this intro. It's going to be really short, less than a minute, this intro. No, no, no. Hi guys, welcome back. Thorpe here, back in Sydney. So, just going to tell you a little story in that I was in the pub with some of my friends on the weekend just gone, and uh, the conversation inevitably came on to uh, women and who they're seeing at the moment. And one of the funny things uh, two of my friends were actually saying was, um, oh, you know, uh, in 2022, you just can't approach these days. Um, society is too sensitive. Um, it's all right for you, Dave, you know, back in the day, you could do whatever you want, approach and uh, enjoy yourself. But um, now in today's society, uh, fear of the media and things like that, that you, you just can't approach, um, which I did disagree with. Um, and so today's video, what we're going to be doing is walking around uh, the city. It's a Thursday evening, uh, work's about to finish. So we're going to ask some women what they think in terms of have they been approached? Uh, how was it for them? Um, and then if they want to stay in chat, ask them more questions about uh, their dating lives. But I think it's been really interesting to get uh, a woman's perspective on this um, and see, see what they've got to say. So let's go. Uh, we have the lovely... Gaia. Gaia. Tally. Tally. Mariana. Mariana. Okay. So uh, girls, um, maybe we'll start with any of you. Have any of you been approached on the street before by a guy who's come up to you, uh, paid a compliment, and struck up a conversation. Has that happened to any of you? I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, how, how was that? How did it go for you? I was, it was weird. It happened to you the other day. It happened to you the other day. I did was, it? I was waiting for the bars and then this guy just like walks by, comes back and he basically invited me over to his place, which was weird. Whoa. I was like, no, thank you, but I guess that counts. <laughs> okay, did he like, he was, was like, weird? Was he that, was that? like, I have an idea. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you're stunning. Come back to mine. And I was just like, no, thank you. Oh my goodness. But that counts, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's pretty forward. And, and have you had... Not off guys, the street. Not off the street. Oh, have you? Yeah? Uh, just the other day. Just the other day? Yes. But um, I had to turn him down because I have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and how, how was like that interaction? How did he go about it? It was okay. I appreciate it. Nice. But yeah, just... That's all right. Okay. Yeah. So he wasn't inviting you back to his house within no, 10 no, seconds? No, he didn't go that far. Okay. He was very much like, hi, this is my name, da da da. I was like, oh, I have a boyfriend, so. Okay. Yeah. And what would you say is like a good way for a guy to approach in the street? What's like the right way and what's like a bad way? The bad way is to invite you to his place. <laughs> yeah, right course, yeah, obviously, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> what, what would be a good way? Like, what, what have you heard of or seen? Or you Just think? like introducing themselves and start like starting conversation. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I get a good buy from you. I would love to take you out. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I, any any other thoughts? I I think it's always a little bit awkward putting yourself out there, but yeah, just going up, just saying, hey, this is my name. I think you know you're gorgeous or whatever you want to say. But yeah, I think yes. Yeah, try not to be too creepy about it. It's the yeah. best way. Yes. Of course, yeah. yeah. And I mean, like, internet dating is just like the way now, isn't it? Um, but I mean, I suppose, would you say it's quite rare for guys to just come up to you, um, I suppose, like I have, but obviously under, under different pretense, like, do, do you think that it's um, quite rare compared to internet dating now, that it's just not as done, really? I think on the street is a bit random. Yeah. But it's not as random if you're at a venue, restaurant, bar, etc. Okay. But I think approaching someone off the street would be weird regardless. I'm not really sure there's a right way to do it. Okay. Unless you, you they like caught your train every day and you kept making eye contact or something. Yeah. yeah. Approaching someone off the street I don't think it would fly for me, okay. by the way. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and there's definitely some thoughts out there. I mean, like society has become a lot more sensitive, especially in the last few years. Yeah. Uh, whereas maybe, I don't know, a few years ago, people would think that, oh, it's much more acceptable, but okay. Because some of my friends still do. I mean, I met my girlfriend on Market Street, which is this street, I think. Yeah, yeah so that, yeah. So it, it just depends, I suppose. Probably not walking, but if you're like waiting for the bus or yeah, like, I don't know, doing something or looking around the store, maybe it's more, natural in a way rather than just going somewhere and they just stop you okay because it's sort of like whoa you know okay maybe i don't know <laughs> and have you girls read the article um there's a bar in darlinghurst um that some of my guy mates were talking about where uh, it's against the rules of the bar to stare at someone if you're caught staring you get thrown out so it's, this is like a big talking point amongst my friends like what what do you think of that like what's your thoughts on that staring and giving eyes are two different things i guess yeah okay what would be the difference? 
if you're reciprocating, like if someone's staring at you and you're establishing eye contact and it's like both ways, then that's fine because there's something there. But if she's just like creepily staring at you and not leaving you alone, then that's a line. Okay. There's also the intention behind it. Like you can tell when someone's staring at you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's the difference. Where it's coming from a place where like, oh, they might find you attractive or something, then that's different. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. can definitely tell. That, that to me in like guy speak is someone who is looking at you but not making the move. Like if you see someone for a couple of seconds mm -hmm. and then approach, mm -hmm. then would you say that's okay? Whereas if they're looking at you all night, then yeah, like, and not then that's going to be a bit much. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. if they're in some corner and they're just sitting there just being like, oh, But you can also see the intention, like you can see behind the look. If it's a creepy look or if it's like, shit, I want to talk to them, but I don't know how to. Okay, so the guy, if he sees you, he should just go for it rather yeah. than just wait all night because it's just going to make you feel uncomfortable which... Yeah, I love that. Yeah. No one it takes offence by being complimented, right? Yeah. Okay. So, like, no one's going to be unhappy about you, someone telling you they think you're pretty. Yeah. Okay, that's really interesting, you know? actually. Like, unless, obviously, you've been staring at them weirdly. <laughs> or, like, you're, like I said, a random off the street might be a bit weird. Sorry for you and your girlfriend. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I don't think anyone would... Being complimented is always lovely. Yeah. Okay. And we have the lovely Jess with us. Um, so Jess, just wanted to ask you, um, have you ever been approached in the city before by a guy who went up to you, paid a compliment, had a uh, chat? Just walking around here. Mm, uh, well, yeah, in the city. No, no, I wouldn't say Never? Yeah. Okay. And, and what about, say, in bars or, or clubs? Or, yeah. yeah, in a club, yeah. yes. Okay. But in terms of, like, say, the city in the daytime, like, if that were to happen, how, how do you think you would react? Oh, I think it depends on how friendly they are. I know if they're really just looking to pay a compliment, I'd say thank you and walk away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, and then in terms of like uh, them having a conversation with you, like, would you be okay just to stand there and just chat with them? And... Oh, depends if I have somewhere to go, right? Oh, okay. Like if you're busy. Yeah, yeah. And what, what would you say is like, what would you say is like a good way for a guy to approach you and a, and a bad way as well? A good way? Oh. I don't know, definitely no cat calling, that's a big no. Okay. Um, a good way to approach someone who just seems very authentic and friendly, you know, if they're looking to genuinely meet people. Okay. I'd, be, I'd be open to it, yeah. Okay, good. Well, yeah, I suppose you just have to kind of see yeah. how it happens, but uh, yeah, okay. And then in terms of like bars and clubs, like that's also another very interesting one. Like yeah. a lot of people say bars and clubs are a bit sleazy or I don't know, people can get too close when it's dark. Like um, if you don't mind telling us about maybe the last time a guy approached you in the bar and what that was like? Oh, I think having been to other places in the world, Sydney people or guys are quite respectful okay. um, comparatively, so no one's super pushy. Generally, just look to ask your name and then if you're not interested, they'll walk away. Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah. So we have the lovely Nadia here who's agreed to have a quick chat. So, um, Nadia, just, um, I was in the pub with my friends the other day and uh, as, as guys we were saying, uh, well, some of my friends were saying that they can't, um, approach they feel that society is too sensitive for guys to approach women in the street in the daytime so i was wondering if you have been approached at all in the daytime where a guy's come up to you maybe paid a compliment and, and how that was for you if that's happened um i have definitely not like as recent not as much recently okay but definitely like before in the past okay like it's fine as long as the guys aren't creepy okay like, okay so yeah. like what when it's happened to you in the past, like, was it was it creepy or was it was it nice or? Like, if if I say thanks and I can just walk away, then it's like a lovely, lovely like experience. Okay. But if the guy's pushy, like, obviously that's a bit creepy. Okay, okay. Like, and have you had like any like uh, nice interaction which went for quite a while and you gave your phone number and maybe texted? No. Or... No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So in terms of. Um, so if you're not, uh, if say guys aren't approaching you in Sydney, like how else would you say meet um, guys in modern Sydney? I'm quite traditional. I'm very much a friends of friends kind of gal. Okay. Yeah. So you're not on internet dating? Or... No. Okay, that's interesting. No. Interesting. Because I think pretty much everyone is. Everyone is. Yeah, yeah. And okay. Yeah, I see what it does to my friends. I am not going to be part of that. Okay. Well, yeah. what does it do to your friends? Just like... You just get disillusioned, I feel. I feel like I'm a happier person because I'm ignorant of like how bad dating is in Sydney. <laughs> like, <laughs> how bad dating is? Okay. Exactly. So, so why, why would you say it's bad for your, for your friends? They just meet guys, like 
just meet guys all the time and none of them are like none of them ever turn into something you know okay so it's just easier to let the universe send people your way i okay. feel so more, yeah more of a traditional person so yeah i mean i i historically never really used internet dating apps i yeah. would approach in the street actually um, for quite a few years and I, I met my girlfriend actually in Market Street about Aww. three years ago so oh, that's yeah, yeah so I suppose yeah more traditional for me as well so mm -hmm. okay good stuff all right well I think you've got to go so <laughs> all right see you Thanks. later good luck. bye bye okay so we're back and we've talked to some women in Sydney about what they think about uh, approaching whether they've been approached uh, what they thought of it um, and then yeah just had a bit of a chat about the dating field and um, I found it quite interesting I think there was only one lady out of the four that was quite against approaching but the rest were quite fine with it some had experience of that but yeah there wasn't really any resistance there and i think um from certainly from what i just heard there with from a woman's perspective it's fine um and i mean from my only own experience as well from since 2013 um i've generally had a positive reception with approaching but um and i actually found it quite surprising that i think the first lady that we spoke to she hadn't actually been approached at all in Sydney so I think it's certainly not as common as you may think and yeah I, I can't really think of much else what did you think Francis so uh, it was good yeah <laughs> yeah I think there wasn't really any overall resistance I think I think everyone seemed quite open to it uh, yeah the ladies there talked about some of the things that they were a bit concerned about like a guy a guy saying come back with me in the first five seconds which is uh, a bit of a shocker but yeah I think uh, I think that's it so I'll probably do maybe a couple more videos, see the view um, of, of women in Sydney and see how we go. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's it. And just a final tribute to the lovely Francis, the uh, famous videographer. It's your last time. Uh, so yeah, it's been a pleasure to have you uh, filming me and following me around and uh, getting, getting the woman's view. So uh, yeah, obviously gonna miss you and um, yeah. Guys, until next time, uh, I'll see you soon.